Ukrainian officials say the loss of Mariupol may be a red line for peace negotiations with Russia. The city very close to falling after eight weeks of heavy shelling. And as Bradley Blackburn reports, Russia is now hoping for similar successes in the eastern part of the country. Russia did not let up its offensive on Easter Sunday, killing five people in the eastern town of Kharkiv, according to Ukrainian officials. <laughs> Ukrainian medics took shelter while trying to help the injured. Missiles hit homes, hospitals, and a kindergarten. The city's mayor is telling residents to evacuate, insisting there are no longer any safe places left. Russia is refocusing its assault on the east and south after failing to take Kyiv. Ukraine's foreign minister says the last forces defending Mariupol are encircled by the Russians. The situation in Mariupol is both dire militarily and heartbreaking. Ukrainian fighters rejected an ultimatum this weekend to lay down their weapons or be eliminated. It's estimated that 2,500 troops are holed up in this massive steel plant. They continue their struggle. But uh, it seems from the way Russian army behaves in Mariupol, they uh, decided to raise the city to the ground at any cost. The cost is staggering. With dead bodies now littering the streets, local officials estimate 21,000 people have died here. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News.